is save your parents money, save your sponsors money, save your government money, save your scholarship money. Do not. I repeat, do not. Mommy, say, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sashana Kareen. <laughs> hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Sashana Kareen and in today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 mistakes to avoid as a college freshman. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so right now. Yes, go down below and press that subscription button and subscribe to my channel. Okay. So guys, mistake number one, and that is not keeping up with your syllabus, okay? You need to keep up with your syllabus. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you do not want to burn out during your, um, your semester, if you do not want to miss assignments, if you want to be fully prepared for your tests and for your quiz or your in courses, I know sometimes quiz and stuff like that is not on the outline, but if you want to be prepared for those and if you want to go and have a straight A profile, you need to keep up with your syllabus. The second mistake freshmen normally make is procrastination, okay? They procrastinate. Oh, it's just um, 60 slides. I can do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow something else come up. Oh, it's still just 60 slides. I can do it again. Well, you know, you just procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. Or you'll be like, oh, it's 120 slides, but it's not that bad. So I can do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow becomes next week. And then next week. And then it's six weeks into school and you're still at slide one. Do not procrastinate, okay? Try to have a schedule. Try to make weekly agendas so that you just keep on track. The okay. third mistake freshmen often make is buying brand new textbooks from the bookstore. People, please don't do it, okay? Save your parents money. Save your sponsors money. Save your government money. Save your scholarship money. Do not, I repeat, do not go to the bookstore and buy those textbooks okay because you're wasting your money okay you can always get second hand textbooks from um second or third year students you can find pdf on the internet everything is pretty much on the internet sometimes you may not get like an entire textbook but the internet will give you them chapter at a time so if you ask for chapter three probably that's like 10 percent of the book and that's all they can show you if you type in chapter two or chapter three so you can always find the book online on a pdf um in the library the book is always available somewhere your job is to just go find it mistake all right. number four is not getting enough sleep people sleep is not a concept okay don't let anybody put that in your head don't let nobody brainwash you in order to function you need sleep okay so you need to sleep do not feel guilty for getting six hours of sleep okay don't. mistake right. number five okay showing up to review or your tutorial sessions tabula rasa people just don't do it do not do it okay try to attempt those questions okay the tutorial or the review session it's not going to help you if you know nothing if you go in blank chances are the little things that you kind of pick up on still won't be enough okay so at least go through the tutorial figure out the questions that you need to ask the things that you have no idea what they are yeah and don't be afraid to ask questions okay you are paying your money so ask questions mistake number six and that is spending all your money on food okay don't do it it's just a bad idea it's not healthy because chances are majority of the stuff that you're buying is going to be processed food okay so just don't do it you know you can save some of your coins so mistake number seven and that is thinking that you're gonna find your husband slash your wife in college okay if you're part of that six percent congratulations honey but that other 94 percent niggas are savage okay and girls they're also savages okay so just don't go into this experience thinking okay i'm gonna be booed up because chances are it's not gonna work okay so don't make that mistake mistake number eight is focusing on one area and neglecting 
pretty much all the other parts of your life okay so don't go in just being focused on a guy or a girl all right and then neglecting everything else your friends your work all of that and then again don't be too focused on going out with your friends and neglecting every other part of your social social life and also your academic life don't be too focused on your academics and not being involved in nothing else just all like just don't focus too much in one area right you're more than that okay and the college experience is way more than that okay. mistake number nine and that is being afraid to ask for help okay and this help can come in the form of your mental health if you're struggling academically there are academic counselors if you're in class and you don't know something don't be afraid to raise your hand and be like hey 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 can you repeat that sir i did not understand what you just say you know like don't be afraid to ask for help you know college the whole purpose of college is for you to learn all right so don't be afraid pretty much to learn yeah. and mistake number 10 not going to your classes okay you need to go to your classes okay i understand that there are some classes that it's not really it you know like you don't really learn a lot your attention span is like zero people be sleeping in that class or that class is super cold or you're just not learning the material i understand that there are certain classes when you go to them you're like hey i can teach myself this at home but the truth is are you teaching yourself this at home then there are other classes that you go to and you're like, Psh, he's just reading off the slide and I can do that all by myself. But the question is, are you doing that all by yourself? And most of the times the answer is, is no. You do that closer to the test or the quiz or the final exam. And that is pretty much bad, you know. You're just pretty much procrastinating and that is not helpful, okay. If you're going to quit a class and if you're not going to go to that particular class ensure that you are putting in the work behind the scenes okay you don't want to be that person who is completely lost the entire semester okay because trust me them one two weeks that you get to study for your study break it's pretty much impossible to catch up on all the materials so yeah go to your classes so guys so that's all i have for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel share my video with a friend and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye